Hey guys, Kevin here with your KevCam tip of the day today. So today I want to show you guys is rest material and how easy it is to use. And this is something that comes across a uh, common question. And if you don't use it on a regular basis, you kind of forget how to do it. So I want to uh, quick create a uh, short little video, guys, on showing how easy the rest material works for, your, for you. So for this particular one, we can use profile or pocket. Um, right here, what I've done is set up a pocket operation. And you'll see in the corners right here that we have a 125 radius, and I'm trying to cut it with a half inch end mill. So let's just play this tool path through real quick, and we'll do a solid verify, play this through, and we'll do my stock target comparison, and I can see, uh, see I still have material still left over in those corners. Um, so obviously I need to come back with a smaller end mill. So easy enough, we can exit out of here, and first thing we'll do is we'll make a copy. So hit the save and copy, now, what is our next tool that we're going to go down to? So we'll go ahead and select our tool, and I'm going to drop down to from a half inch down to a quarter inch. Now, the only thing I really need to change going forward is my technology. So if I go to the technology, and this is going to be the same for pocketing or profiling, switch this over to rest material, uh, previous tool diameter, I'm not sure. I can just click on previous tool diameter, hit the green checkbox for my tool number one, it puts my data in there and save and calculate, and it's automatically gonna pick up where that half inch end mill, whoop, half inch end mill could not uh, pick up at. So you can see we're taking a couple step downs here. Now what we can also do here is we can add some overlaps in there. So maybe we wanna go, we don't wanna start on the exact point. So let's just add 100 thou in there uh, so we're overlapping a little bit. So now we're coming in here and overlapping. And like I said, it's easy as just switching it over. Um, if you guys want to take it all in one cut, we can just go to our levels, switch the step down, put that at zero, save and calculate, and it's going to come in here and do it all in one cut for you guys. So um, real easy to use. Um, the only thing you really need to do is turn on the rest feature right here, and then it will automatically populate this window and just do your previous tool diameter right here. So just want to kind of show you that for the tip of the day uh, for today. And I want to apologize for missing the last two days in a row. I've been a little bit under the weather, but uh, going forward, we'll have another tip of the day for you guys tomorrow. So thanks, guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.